Hello everybody, Dan here. Welcome back to Daily Soap Dish. If you're new here, please hit that subscribe button down below because we cover a ton of 90 Day Fiance right here on the channel. Let's get right into it, guys. Today's story is about everybody's favorite cast member. And of course, I'm being incredibly sarcastic here. That's Big Ed Brown and his now ex, Liz Woods. Now, we know it's his ex because they basically confirmed the split. Um, Liz has been... You know, taking pictures with this new man for some time, and she's been putting out these cryptic posts uh, about uh, this new man for a couple of months now, dating back to late last year. Uh, eventually, they both confirmed the split, even though they kind of denied it, or at least Big Ed denied it at first. Uh, and so this couple is Dunzo. There are Splitville. However, on the show uh, right now, perhaps you guys have seen it, but uh, there is a clip where Big Ed and Liz get into a heated argument in front of Liz's daughter. And that's made, um, you know, some people uncomfortable, concerned, because as you guys know, we've seen some of these scenes on the show that are very uncomfortable to watch. We've seen Andre and Libby. We've seen Andre raise his voice, argue against, uh, you, know, you know, with Libby, uh, swear a lot around their kid. Uh, also, the whole pod has family getting into arguments, swearing around the kid. And a lot of people get very concerned, myself included, when we see those scenes. Uh, I think it's very inappropriate, and I just don't think it's the right kind of environment to have those arguments. And I think you have to take the kid, put it somewhere else, put it in a different room, or just uh, control your temper, or at least don't swear. There is no need to drop F-bombs nonstop when you're in the presence of a very young child. Now, of course, we've also seen... Karini and Paul get into not only arguments, but also physical confrontations. We've seen the police get involved and all kinds of crazy things. Obviously, the Karini and Paul one is the absolute worst example for this. But this is why people are worried when they see these scenes, uh, you know, with a child involved when uh, two grownups are having these uh, heated arguments. Now, there is a second part to this video, and that's Big Ed addressing his haters now of course you guys probably guessed it but i believe that i qualify as a hater and i think most of you because i'm pretty sure most of you watching this channel are not really big ed fans so i i think this message is for all of you so let's get right into it guys let's see what's going on with big egg right here big ed i mean um now this is um this was posted on instagram and somebody is saying here that Big Ed seems to have a type, I, I guess, commenting on the looks of his uh, previous wife, his first wife, and now his ex-girlfriend, Liz, uh, saying that they uh, look like sisters. This person says, uh, another person says, wow, they look like uh, twins. Now, uh, Big Ed supposedly cheated on his, uh, you know, first wife. So Big Ed seems to have a bit of a pattern of behavior here. So um, let's take a look at what's going on. So Big Ed calls Lid, uh, Liz. A little brat as her 10-year-old daughter is put in the middle of their squabble. Big Ed and Liz are officially living together on Happily Ever After. Now, guys, I don't want to sound like a broken record here, right? But we're kind of going through old content, unfortunately, because this is what TLC is giving us to work with. We know Big Ed and Liz are not together, but this is what's happening on the show. So we'll talk a little bit about that, and then we'll move on quickly to Big Ed addressing his haters, and uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. Now, the couple left the last resort with a refreshed engagement and a new uh, perspective on their love life. However, it seemed it's not all smooth sailing, obviously, as they adjusted to life in Arkansas with Liz's daughter, Riley. Now, Sunday night's episode showed Ed and Liz baking a breakfast pizza with Riley, something Liz thought should be creative and carefree. Ed, though, had a problem with the potential of mess and reiterated they shouldn't spill on the counters before the baking even began. Do you remember how to do the flour without making a mess? Uh, Ed asked the 10-year-old. He explained his reasoning to the cameras. I love having Riley around and she loves to bake, but I know I'm going to have to mop the floor when we're done. I can just feel it. I mean, this is just what having a child is like. You, you have to do activities and then there's going to be a, you know, a cleanup process involved. Like you can either do that, you can ask the child, you know, to do it, but this is just how it works. And so it's hard to say that I love the child, but I don't really want to take care of any of the mess that the child is going to make because that just comes with the territory. So, um, you know, that's, uh, <laughs> I know from experience. 
He explained his reasoning to cameras, um, and then up upon the first cup of flour, Liz requested Ed just chill after he pointed out that you guys are making a mess and began cleaning the counter in front of their bowl of flour. Now, what followed was increased tension between Ed and Liz to the surprise of no one because this is really how Ed and Liz behave together. There's always increased tension with these two. And, of course, we know that they also get very abusive uh, towards each other. Uh, you know, oftentimes I would say it's coming from Big, Ed, Big Ed's part, but Liz can also hold her own. They have just a very toxic relationship. That's just what it is. Uh, and so it's no surprise that they actually broke up. Now, um, she even lifted the grates off the stove to show Ed uh, his spills from the last time that he cooked pasta. I'm not doing this. If you can't have fun, just go, Liz told Ed. Ed didn't appreciate that remark and accelerated the argument with name calling. Are you going to smile or let this uh, ruin your day? When Liz asked him to stop ruining it, he said, you're being a little brat. Yada, you're putting, uh, you're pouting and you're ruining the event. Now, it was up to Riley to fix the tension. And she said, I have an idea. So basically, this is what this is what's happening with Big Ed and Liz. They need a 10 year old to be the voice of reason in this relationship. This is how you know that this relationship is, was, and will always be a complete disaster if they ever get back because they've broken up, what, 13, 14 times by now? So you just never know, you know, if for Liz it doesn't work out with a new man and if Ed doesn't find a new, you know, person or victim that he, that, uh, he can sink his teeth into, then these two might get back together. You just never know that. But uh, this is kind of how it goes for, for them. And so they need a 10-year-old to, to be the voice of reason. Now, uh, the two sealed the argument with a kiss, um, you know, and moved on, or so it seemed. Liz and Ed made the move to Arkansas in the name of a fresh start and to be closer to his family. And uh, they're basically planning to tie the knot in just eight weeks, the pair said during a confessional. Later in the episode, Liz seemed to settle on a wedding dress with the support of her loved ones. If she'll wear it down the aisle or if Ed and Liz will call it quits, for the 12th time is anyone's guess. So 12th time, 13th time, um, who's counting anymore, right? Uh, it's uh, It's been just so many times. I was pretty sure it was uh, 13 times. but So supposedly it takes place uh, everything, uh, I believe we just said uh, eight weeks. And so of, of about two months before when they get married, which was, I believe, rumored to be August or something like that. So this is about two months uh, before that. Now, there's been some rumors that because we you know we've covered this on this channel and we have confirmed that big ed and liz have gone married uh, because it's been confirmed by, by numerous sources however there is speculation that perhaps they never filed the certificate of marriage and so there is a small possibility i guess that their marriage actually doesn't get validated legally i'm not sure if that's what's going to happen here because we know that this is the story. They get married and then they basically separate right after. So this is why some people are speculating that perhaps that, uh, you know, certificate just never gets filed. I do think that it's very likely that they do get married and then they just separate. I, I don't really see the problem with that. It happens all the time. I mean, how many weddings do you hear that celebrities, you know, they get married and they, they get divorced like two, three days later, right? Like you hear that. It's not uncommon with some celebrities. And so it's not uh, crazy to think that it's a possibility. Okay, so what does Big Ed think of his haters? So people like you guys, people like us, people that basically criticize Big Ed. And, you know, on this channel, I oh, every time I talk about Big Ed, guys, I have to bring up the accusations against them. And there's a few of you that don't like that. But, you know, Big Ed was accused of sexual assault by a young lady and we did uh, interview the young lady a few years ago, and the video is still up on this channel. Now, some people are saying, and this is valid, accusations don't mean that he's guilty. Absolutely. I agree with that. These are only accusations. And the lady, for a bunch of different reasons, she never actually took the thing to court. Uh, and, um, you know, according to her, she was pressured into signing an NDA because this was a workplace incident at least that's what it was deemed that's my understanding and so she took the nda but i've seen some comments here that oh she was just money hungry and whatnot based on what i understand she did not get a lot of money so 
if she was after the money, she made she made the wrong move. So Big Ed has never responded to any of this. He's never addressed it, not even once. Uh, and so, you know, but if you guys are wondering about that, and the reason why I bring it up, it's not because you know, it, there is no other reason than because I know there are uh, people here on the channel that weren't around back then and that might not be aware of it. So it's just to spread awareness about it. Like I said, it doesn't mean Big Ed is guilty or not because it never went to court. However, the, the accusations are out there. And so you guys can check out the video. There's other interviews with her. And then you can make up your own minds if she is a credible witness or not. That's up to you guys. And that's all that I have to say on, on that matter. Now, okay, so the Nightly Fiance Happily Ever After cast member Big Ed Brown is throwing shade at his critics in a mean video. Big Ed is an ex-photographer from San Diego who is well-loved by his fans. Well, some for being a cute elderly man. <laughs> I don't know who wrote this, but this is just not, I don't think this is really true. He was, he, if anything, he had more of the, the vibes of a predator. I would say I, maybe, maybe he tricked some people early on. And I think this is the thing with Big Ed is that he was on during the pandemic and his season blew up. And as a result of that, he became a household name, right? So Big Ed comes on Nightly Fiance during the 2020 uh, year, during the 2020 season when Big Ed was, was on, was the hottest that it's ever been. And I have stats to prove this, that that season of Nightly Day Fiance was the absolute peak of Nightly Day Fiance viewership. And as a result of that, it basically catapulted Big Ed into becoming a bit of a social media star. I hate to say that, I hate to use that word, but he became quite popular for that reason. And he also became a bit of a meme online. And so a lot of people that don't even watch the show, I know because I've spoken to some, they know who Big Ed is, but they don't know who anybody else is. And so um, that's what happened with Big Ed. However, it's not that he was, it's not that he was well liked or anything like that. Some people liked him, but he also had a lot of people that had a lot of criticism because we all saw his behavior on the show, right? Like if you guys remember, the way he behaved towards Rose was very weird. It felt like he was, when they had sex the first time, we saw the bottles on the shelf. Rose looked so out of it. She looked like she didn't remember a thing. And Ed looked like he was very proud of what he had done that night. It just, a lot of things looked very weird. And just his overall behavior was uh, was very bad. And I think we all saw that. So uh, I think the, the fans that he has, I think they don't know the full Big Ed story. Let's see what he says here. Let's see what he says to his haters. Maybe uh, let's refresh this and, and then we'll see what he says to his haters here. Um. When people say they don't like me, I put on glasses. <laughs> to, see I... to see if I give a fuck. You may know. Short and sweet. So I'm sure you guys uh, got, got the uh, got the memo there. Uh, basically, he doesn't care what the haters think. Uh, I don't think that's uh, fully accurate because uh, this is the thing. If Baguette didn't care what the haters thought, then why would he go on Instagram and block accounts that never tagged him, that never send him messages or anything? Obviously, Big Ed is a fragile little man with a fragile ego. That goes without saying. I'm not the only person he's blocked. He's blocked many others. So, uh, yeah, he says he doesn't care, but he really does care about what the haters do think. Now, a very unruly looking baguette recorded himself lip syncing to a TikTok video with his hair out of place and a scruffy beard. Baguette held a pair and put them on while mouthing the audio with foul language. When people say they don't like me, I put on glasses to see if I give a F. And he gave the camera a smug smile. Now, Big Ed's followers in his comments gave him a test a taste of his own medicine as they listed down reasons why they didn't like him. The latest was a scene from Happily Ever After where Big Ed argued with Liz in front of their little daughter, Riley. Fans told Big Ed that he should have had the common sense to not behave so irresponsibly in front of a child. A different fan informed Big Ed that he did mind what fans said about him, which is why he was reacting through this unfunny video, which is exactly the truth, right? If you don't care, 
you don't react you don't actually put in the effort to put out a video to record a video and put it out there that shows that it's actually the exact opposite and you do very much care one asked Baguette to use a comb while another reminded him that he doesn't need glasses because it's, he puts on his big ego to use as a defense mechanism wherever he is called out. Now, Baguette's first brush with controversy was during before 90 days where he behaved horribly towards Rose and poked fun at her financial uh, situation. Of course, he also made fun of her breath, that it smelled bad. Um, he was, I mean, the list goes on and on. I mean, he, he was behaving pretty shamefully during his season of 90 day fiance. And this is the thing guys, my opinion, because, and this is, this is where I think big Ed did this wrong. I think big Ed, well, he can't hide who he is, right? We, we kind of, we can see through, you know, the charade, we can see through the mask. We can see big Ed for who he really is based on the accusations. And guys, there are more things about big Ed out there. I'm not going to go about, I'm not going to go through them in the video, but there are many people that have said things that Big Ed has acted inappropriately during his time as a photographer and things of that nature. Now, I'm not going to go through that in this video, but we have seen his behavior. And so the reason why we react to Ed the way we do is because we see through the bullshit. That's why. And Big Ed doesn't like that. And then he calls us haters for seeing through his BS. That's where I stand on this Big Ed matter so that's the video for today guys big ed reacting to his haters pretty much saying that i don't care but he really i think really does and so uh, what do you guys think about this whole big ed and liz situation arguing in front of their daughter obviously this wasn't the craziest argument that we've seen in front of a child on 90 day fiance but i think it's just one more example of big ed's personality and character and uh you know just reason why people don't necessarily uh like big ed i was gonna say had big ed changed uh i think he could have been a much bigger star he actually stagnated from when he started on the show he got i believe to 500 or so thousand uh followers on instagram he was doing youtube videos he was growing very fast he was becoming like i said a tv reality star but the issue is that he couldn't help his personality which is not good his personality is pretty bad it's kind of vile and disgusting and he couldn't help it so basically what happened is that he lost a lot of his steam he's really not as popular as he used to be and he could have been the first mega star in the reality at least in the 90 day fiance reality tv world and he failed at that because of just who he is that's what i wanted to say so i hope you guys enjoyed the video please give it a big thumbs up if you did Hit that subscribe button down below for more content right here on the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.